With Rust County Console, if it's not out already by the time you watch this video, I thought it's high time that I did a simple beginner's guide to get you through your first half an hour to hour of the game to give you some goals and hopefully the strategies and tactics to achieve them. Now, I won't be discussing the mechanical side of things, you know, which buttons to press, but I will be looking at what you should be doing and where you should be going. Also, it's rust, so it's very easy to get killed an awful lot when you're playing solo. It's so much better when you're in team, but you can do okay in solos, but you just have to embrace the death. Regularly dying is a massive part of the game, and because the game gives you things like sleeping bags that you can put down so that you can respawn where you like, you have to embrace that and you have to realize that unlike in DayZ, for example, where if you get killed, it's like a real pain. In Rust, it's just like, fair enough, I'm dead, I respawn in a couple of seconds and I can run back to where I was before and carry on regardless. Now, when you're a new spawn, as soon as you wake up, look at the map. Our main goal in this part of the early game is to build a simple base as far away from the new spawn or the grub area as we can in a quiet part of the map. So that's away from the coast, away from the sandy coast. So look for an area that backs onto the snowy parts of the map, the cold areas, away from the big monuments. And that's probably the best place to go. So start heading that way and start running. As we're heading towards our base, be on the lookout for things like tree stumps, hemp plants, and any resources on the ground like stone, metal ore, and sulfur ore, because you can pick them up really quickly without really slowing down. As you're running past other people's bases, you'll probably find things like pumpkins on the ground, which you can take and eat. Um, you'll find where they planted hemp, for example. If you're going through a uh, tree area, wooded area, often you'll find mushrooms. So with food, eat it straight away if you can. And if your food bar goes up to full, then by all means hang on to it. But the main thing is try not to hang around too long. If you come across simple um, kind of areas where you'll find barrels, maybe smash them open and spend a few seconds doing that or go through the boxes. But again, try and keep moving. Now you'll see the big monuments as well as you're going along. Try and avoid them because they're hotspots for other players. Also, some of them are radioactive. So you don't want to get poisoning. But if you come across some of the smaller ones, like the supermarket, have a quick look round. You'll find boxes that you can look into. Have a look in, grab the food or whatever's there, and then carry on running. When you're probably about halfway to your potential base location, it's a good time to craft a sleeping bag. So this is one of those spawn points you can use. So go into your uh, inventory, go into the crafting menu and, and craft the bag. And then when it's ready, hide it in a shadowy bush or something like that. Change the name, you know, give it to something appropriate depending on where the location is. And maybe if you want to, if you've got enough stuff, you could also craft a stash too, which is a simple box that you can put a few things in and then you can bury it. That way, if you do die and you respawn at the um, sleeping bag, you can dig up your stash and it'll have a little bit of loot. As you're getting closer to your base, you've probably got enough resources to craft the building plan um, and the wooden hammer and the stone axe. And they're the basic tools you really need for building your base and gathering some more resources. As you approach the area, have a good look round. Are there lots of other bases in the area? You know, do we need to choose another spot? Can we put our base down somewhere out of sight? If you're happy with the location of the base, now's the time to craft and hide another sleeping bag in case we die building our base. Hide behind a rock. Check your inventory. To make a simple 2 by one wooden base with an airlock door system, tool cupboard and locks is going to take well over 2,500 wood, which is a lot. So if you've got that already, get building. Um, if not, grab more resources first because we really want to have our first simple base done in one go so at the end we can lock the doors and take a well-earned breather before our next task which will be crafting a smelter and crafting weapons so we can survive even longer so once our base is up and locked as i've said we need to think about upgrading the door and walls we want to craft a furnace if we can for which we'll need stone wood and some low-grade fuel and once that's ready we can put some wood for fuel in it to metal ore in it light it and we'll have and we can start gathering metal fragments which we can then make a metal door with we can consider crafting a bow and arrows at this point and using any stone to upgrade the walls ceiling and floor of our base 
if you haven't got the materials for those then obviously it's time to get out there planting any seeds we might have to to have as well so you know we've got some more food and hemp but all of that will have to be in my next rust video and that my friends is the beginning of your time with rust your job as i've said is now to upgrade your base to stone upgrade the door to metal keep the tool cupboard well stocked to prevent your base from decaying then start finding and crafting weapons and consumables good luck